I am standing in front of one of the first houses to have a Tesla solar roof installed and it looks great. As a matter of fact, I drove by a few times, not sure if that's the house because the roof looks pretty much just like any other roof. I mean, it's slick, uh, it's good looking, it's a little shiny, uh, but nevertheless, it, it makes energy for your home. How how cool is this? Uh, uh, Tree Wen is the owner of this house. I, I had a conversation with him. Uh, he showed me around and I, I got to see it up close. The quality is really, really good. Um, and I'm gonna share some of the information that he shared with me. But before that, if this is your first time watching my videos, go ahead and click the subscribe button to become a part of this community uh, so you don't miss anything moving forward. So you're one of the very first customers for the Tesla solar roof. Yeah, very lucky. Appreciate it. How did you How did you get on the reservation list, and uh, how did they reach out to you to get this going? So actually, I requested as soon as it was available, as soon as it became public. Um, I needed a new roof initially when I bought my house, and I really wanted to wait for the solar roof, and I just put my name on the reservation. And about a year later, they came back and said. Tesla came back and said, hey, it's going to be about another year, but we want to come back and do a site survey. And they came out and did a site survey. And after that, they said they had, they had everything they needed, and it was just a matter of time before they actually got the, everything produced and shipped out. So you needed the roof anyway, so yep. that kind of worked out pretty good. Yep, absolutely. I, I, I knew I needed a new roof. I didn't want to do a traditional solar, uh, traditional solar and then traditional, uh, a traditional roof. It just doesn't make sense. So, okay, well, let me ask you about that. Why Why not like panels? Uh, why specifically this solar roof? Uh, I think I wanted the look. I'm kind of a, you know, I'm a, I'm a big technology guy and I kind of wanted to be, you know, on the front the front of this. And it just looks amazing and it, it's just what I want, right? So, luckily it worked out for me. It does look amazing. Just really, is, yeah. as a matter of fact, if I would be driving by, I would never know. Yeah. Um, now, as far as, you know, a lot of people say, well, is it worth financially? What What is your thinking about it uh, yeah, in, in terms of whether or not it's worth it? It's definitely a premium product. Um, luckily, you know, I, I could afford it, so I, I did it. Um, but, I mean, the difference is sub substantial. So if you guys are, if someone is money sensitive or financially sensitive, I wouldn't recommend it. Right. And uh, so, what is the what is the process like for you know Tesla coming out, installing yep. it, and from what I understand, you ha you're required to connect it to the uh, net to the power grid. Yep. So yeah, they come out. Um, they send a couple guys out to do a site survey. They spent a whole day here looking up everything, and they sent a couple of drone guys to take pictures. They had it, they had that took a whole day, and they had what they needed. And then about a year later, I heard back from them that they were ready to install, and they came out with a crew about 20 people. It took about 20 weeks, or excuse me two weeks um, because of the rain but the team was uh, amazing they were here every day till to morning till to, 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 uh, to nighttime and it got installed in two weeks 20 people about 20 people yeah so I think they had I, to I think out. they could have built another house at the same time Yeah, I mean a, a normal roof right two or three people come out trash it put the new one on it takes three days right but this is a new process right I think they're trying to figure out exactly how many people they need and what needs to be done and what how they can make it more efficient now as you can see the tiles are all look pretty much the same however not all of them are actual little solar panels some of them are just kind of uh, fake ones <laughs> if you will uh, that that just make it look the same so you don't really need to know which tiles are gathering the suns and which which ones are just uh, there to be part of the roof so I thought it was pretty cool as a matter of fact, you know, I looked and I looked and I couldn't tell uh, which ones are which. So the, just like I said, the uh, the quality and the uh, the appeal, the visual appeal, is really really good. Is this your first Tesla product that you own? It is my first Tesla product. I have um, a, a Model Three on order. I actually just configured it yesterday. So congratulations! I'm excited. Which color? I got the charcoal. Nice, so nice. I got the charcoal fully loaded. Um, the autopilot and everything, so I'm very excited about that. So, and right now I have a Chevy Bolt in the garage. Now, what about your friends and family, just people driving by? What do they think? Do they oh. think it's crazy or do they think it's cool? They think it's amazing. They love it. And they're asked a lot of questions. During the install, people would walk their dogs here constantly and just sit here for 20 minutes watching everyone install it and talking to the installer, so it's very cool. So you haven't turned it on yet, right? Um, and I guess it takes a while yep. to do that. Can you explain a little bit of why and wh when do you think they'll turn it on? Yeah, so I was quoted by pg and &E. So pg and &E has the uh, final inspection on it. Um, and they, Tesla told me the backlog is about two months. And hopefully it's shorter, but that's what I'm told right now. 
Well, this is the future, guys. I mean, you know, I remember 20, 30 years ago when we were kind of watching the movies or seeing the pictures of what the futuristic houses are going to look like. Well, they're going to look like regular houses with just amazing technology. They're going to look like this, where you harvest your own energy uh, to charge your own electric cars. Uh, and and I'm, I'm just so, so excited about this. I'm, of course, uh, waiting for mine. Uh, it's probably going to be a while, but that's all right. Um, I have a house that's waiting for it. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you guys are looking to get one of these. Uh, some, you know, some of you may uh, say that it doesn't really make sense just yet. And, of course, the prices will probably come down. Uh, there will be different choices choices that Tesla and other manufacturers are going to offer. But for myself, I'm just excited that this has started, that I can actually drive by a house of a regular person, really, and see uh, 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 this technological uh, amazing, amazing progress that we've made. So uh, let me know in the comment section. Uh, definitely love reading your comments. And um, other than that, I will see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.